Hello all. Uh, I wanted to first welcome y'all. Thank you for watching this video. This is going to be the first of many um, missions uh, slash partnership um, missions blog uh, that, that basically I'm going to do. I'm going to do a YouTube channel uh, about my uh, year-long missions project. Uh, so we are, uh, so August 15th, I left, I drove my car down in my little Nissan Sentra, and I, and I drove down to Immokalee, Florida, which is about 40 minutes from Naples in that Fort Myers area, and I, 5 o'clock on that day, I got the keys to a Habitat house, and I am currently living in a habitat house in a community called called uh, uh, Liberty Landing. And uh, so, yeah, I am currently living there. Um, and so that was August 15th. Uh, August 23rd, this past Sunday, had two roommates move in, Lexi Opperly and Charlie Daricott. Daricott uh, and we are all living together, three of us, and we're going to learn to live in intentional community and uh, and see what missions is going to be like. And we are part of a program, uh, I'm part of a program called the uh, Young Adult Missional Movement here in the Florida Conference of the UMC. Uh, all of this fun, fun, fun stuff. And so... Um, so for a year, I'm going to be living in Immokalee, and I'm going to be working with Habitat for Humanity down in Collier County, and uh, we are so excited, or I personally am so excited to be doing this work. Uh, my grandparents worked for Habitat uh, for a little while. They did a lot of volunteer work, and so it's nice to have that. Uh, I'm going to be working on the construction side of Habitat for Humanity. I'm going to be on site sort of as a uh, learning all that I can, but I'm going to be working with a bunch of volunteer groups that are coming in. And so, yeah. Lexi, my roommate, uh, she's going to be working in the office at Habitat and is going to be awesome. Um, and it's just going to be great. Uh, and so, yeah, so that was August 23rd. Uh, we got a get to know stuff, uh, get to know visit from our boss, Heidi, and that was awesome. And then this past Thursday, we drove up to LEC, which is where I'm where I'm at right now. And it's awesome uh, because I was just here during the summer uh, for training or for sort of pre-training and working with all the people here for family camp. And so it's really nice to be back. I'm really so excited to be back. Like you have no idea. And plus they have Wi-Fi because we don't have Wi-Fi in our house yet. We're going to get Wi-Fi on Monday and it's going to be awesome but uh so 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 we're we're having our orientation training and because of hurricane tropical storm erica uh we are going to be uh leaving tomorrow morning early at like 10 and driving back and you know so we're cutting our retreat short so i'm when i once when I have Wi-Fi, I wanted to do this as like an intro thing. So, uh, so, so, some of the stuff that basically has been going through my mind just in the past 24 hours as we've been at this missions retreat uh, with Heidi and some of the people from the conference. And one of the guys was talking about fundraising and partnership and what that looks like. And so... As I've been sort of praying about it and seeing what you know we can do or what I can do with you people that I'm sending this message to my friends and family and loved ones back in Jacksonville and around the world is I I I uh, I would really 
like you to consider partnering with me. Uh, there are several ways you can do that. Prayer, I'm always going to need prayer. Uh, uh, fin financial support, if, if, uh, uh, if, uh, uh, if you are willing to give financially, uh, give to the uh, YAM Young Adult Missional Movement uh, through the conference, if possible. If not, you know, we can figure all that out. But uh, one of the main things that, that, that basically we had just talked about was giving opportunity for people to partner, uh, like, in other ways, like telling churches that, we need volunteers for this day of Saturday in six months from now when we're all building a house and we need four more volunteers. Like, you know, so that's that 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 sort of was giving an option and what I've been looking at as far as this partnership uh, with you is more of a action oriented partnership, not just Hey, give me money, or hey, pray for me because of this and this. While, while yes, that is important. I'm definitely gonna need prayer. I'm definitely gonna need some funds, or, or we as a program definitely are gonna need funds. But, but we're also gonna need action steps from y'all, as in talk to your churches back home, campus ministries. Uh, really keep us in prayer, especially, you know, keep us in prayer, talk, talk about us often, uh, and, and plus also, let me hear what's going on with CCW, with stuff with my family, like, and what's going on with your family too, like, I, I, a after hearing all of this stuff this weekend about partnerships, everything like that is really like I really feel strong that that uh that uh that uh you know I need a partnership people to partner with me in this ministry and I feel like y you are currently uh you know the only people on my list so you know spread the word uh I need partners, I need people to care for me and for and 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 for me to care for you. Uh, so that is what a partnership is. It's sort of 50/50. And so in missions, uh, it's really hard because again, we all think we had this conversation today that we all think, oh, you know, when we go into churches or go into communities, there's this, like, taboo word when it comes to missions. Like, what is missions? What does it look like? Anybody can be a missionary. Anybody can be anybody. And so I just, I just want to uh, to say thank you so much for all that you do uh, with all of your lives, whether it's hanging out with kids, uh with your kids hanging out with your campus ministry, hanging out at your job, hanging out with just people in general. Thank you for that. Uh, and so, yeah, so there's that. Uh, so if you would like to partner and keep getting these updates, I'm going to try to do it every week, possibly every other week. I don't know. It just, just depends. My schedule's weird. Uh, yeah. And, and, and also one more thing. I wanted to talk about was you know prayer request. Um, please pray for our house uh, that we don't get hit by the storm. Please pray for our community specifically, Iamakali yeah, and 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 and, uh, uh, and uh, Li Liberty Landing. Uh, just pray for all of them. Uh, pray that they would be receptive to you know hanging out with us and talking with us. We're in a community in a neighborhood that's like 50% Mexican, 50% Haitian, 
and we're one of the only white people in the neighborhood. So it's going to be tough for cross-cultural learning, but we got it. So anyways, I just want to say thank you all again. I'll see you in a week.